For Autodesk Inventor users, Stryker Systems offers numerous interfaces into our sheet metal nesting and CAD CAM software. Our most popular interface is PartShare, an Autodesk Inventor add-in that shares part, assembly, and other manufacturing data with Stryker CAD CAM. PartShare can be configured in a single user mode for those who have Autodesk Inventor and Stryker CAD CAM on the same computer. Or it can be networked, allowing multiple Inventor users to share data with one or more Stryker CAD CAM users. The Stryker Systems PartShare Access is integrated seamlessly into the Autodesk Inventor interface. The PartShare dialog is divided into part libraries, where individual parts are maintained, and assemblies, where top level and sub assemblies can be accessed. Before looking at the typical extraction process, let's investigate a few of the setup options that make PartShare such a powerful tool. First, on the Part Properties tab, we see a number of Autodesk Inventor property designations such as Part Number and Revision. It is from these designated properties that manufacturing data will be retrieved. As we move to the Assembly Properties tab, we see that the same holds true for assemblies. Also included is a property to control whether or not a sheet metal part should be extracted. The Materials tab allows Autodesk Inventor material names to be mapped to Stryker material names to control material naming standards from engineering through manufacturing. Either individual parts or entire assemblies can be extracted. In this case, we are extracting a multiple part assembly. Upon execution of the extraction process, you are presented with an optional summary dialog providing an overview of the assembly parts. This summary is designed to highlight issues that might need to be addressed for manufacturing, such as missing or incorrect material information in the Autodesk Inventor models. In the main extraction dialog, you see all of the data retrieved from the Inventor models. You have full control over this information if changes are needed including the ability to dictate whether or not a part is extracted. Upon acceptance, the extraction process begins. The result? The assembly definition and the individual parts are accessible through the PartShare interface. Editing one of the assembly parts shows the parameters that were extracted from the Autodesk Inventor model. With the Autodesk Inventor assembly extraction now complete, the parts are available for NC processing with Stryker CAD CAM. Parts can be processed individually, or the entire assembly can be nested. And since the PartShare library is centrally located, the Stryker CAD CAM software can access the Inventor part and assembly information from any networked location. Stryker offers many ways to create a nest, from completely interactive to fully automatic. To demonstrate the process, I'll create a nest and add parts. Across the top of the nest creation dialog, we see tabs that provide different means of adding parts to a nest. This includes the ability to add parts individually, select complete assemblies, or import a production list such as might be generated from an MRP software or other production scheduling system. For demonstration purposes, I'll be nesting the Autodesk Inventor assembly that we just extracted. I have a work order that calls for 30 of this assembly. As I add this assembly to the nest, the individual component parts can be reviewed in the bottom pane of the dialog. As I continue with the nest creation, the calculation process begins, and we see that the resulting nest is stored into two subjobs, each with nested layouts containing parts of like materials. Each of these layouts is now ready for NC processing. 